Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI app icons the correct way. So we'll be using some type of app icons and we'll be changing the background color too. And we'll be putting some type of spaces uh, in between over here too. So that our app icon will look same as like in Android and iOS. So uh, this uh, tutorial is uh, applicable for Visual Studio for Windows 2 and the Mac too. So let's get started. What I'll do is like uh, we'll just search for spaceship uh and then png so don't forget to add that png and go to the image section so here in the image section uh, uh what we are going to do is like we can get a list of images as a png format so don't forget to do that okay so uh, we'll be first of all searching the image so here i have a filter uh uh, filter named as uh, license uh, free to uh, share and use is free to modify uh, like a, or use so we can use any type of images let us suppose we are taking this image as an app icon okay so you can see there is a black and white pattern that means it's a png format we can just uh, save it okay so i'll just put that uh, image to the uh like i'll just give the name and save it or download it yeah, it might be either in your windows machine to just download that image which is a png format image now what we'll do is like inside the resources folder of images uh that is our app icon okay we'll just have two files in our dotnet maui uh windows project or the mac project we'll just uh, uh, reveal it in the folder that means uh, we'll just uh, uh, go to that specific folder where we'll just see that there are two files right so what we'll actually need to do is we'll just go and search for photop.com this is a free uh, online website we can use other uh, uh, editor too but it's free right now and uh, you can use photoshop too so the same thing goes over here so what we are actually going to is do is like we are just going to drag and drop or open the uh, file so you can see the app icon the an app uh, icon config.sb is, is there right so first of all we'll just modify this one okay so this uh, this file basically is the background so you need to understand this is the background okay so what we actually need to do over here is we'll just create a new layer okay and then we'll just create a new layer and then what we are going to actually do is like paint a bucket and we'll just uh, fill it with white color okay so let let us suppose i'm just uh, uh painting it to a white color i'm selecting here the layer one okay so uh like uh, we have already painted it now here you can see if i click on save okay it will ask me to save file and here you can see it has automatically been changed uh, to app icon.spg as a white image okay so uh, make a note of that and then we'll just close this project and again drag and drop another file this is actual icon okay so what we actually need to do is like we have to put some spaces in middle so that uh, the app icon uh, comes to the middle uh, of the whole uh, this uh, rectangle frame so here what i'm going to do is like we can just remove all the uh, uh, layers okay and uh, the final one it won't allow me to create a new layer so i'll just create a new layer layer one okay and i'll just remove the existing layer in this layer one what we are going to do is the file that we have downloaded this is the app icon that we i have recently downloaded right so now what we actually need to do is like uh, we need to some put some spaces okay so that it uh, it gets optimized so make some type of spaces so that uh, the app icon comes in middle okay so so this is how i have like uh, ma made it so if you have lost the uh, this thing then again uh, like uh, what you need to do is like edit free transform okay and you will just get this thing uh, like uh, uh all the like uh, you, you can just modify the, the different type of uh, save corners from uh, image transform from edit free transform okay so it it is applicable in both the uh, um, photoshop 2 uh, and photo p2 and now what i'm going to do is like uh, again i'm going to click on file save okay so save changes yep so what we actually uh, means now we have already uh, like re overridden the uh, files that we have and if you don't believe me then i'll just show it to you okay that is it so we got our app icon app, app icon config.spg that's it okay so now uh, i'll just run the project and we, you will see the uh, application uh, icon uh, displayed over here so let's wait for some time let it build So 
so it is getting built that is like a, a basic uh, .NET MAUI uh, new project so let's wait for some time so our application has successfully built here I'll just close the project and then see uh, we got our app icon and now there is some spaces over here too and it's looking nice so now what we'll just see is uh, on our android project too whether uh, it gives us actual output or not so i have a an android uh, simulator uh, emulator too and we'll just see whether it gives us uh, correct output or not so here uh, i'll just run the project as a uh, like android uh, uh, simulator and here you can see our app icon has come and it looks nice right so that is it so uh, in our next tutorial we'll be learning about uh, the splash screen the correct way so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials